Hey guys, Rural Homesteaders here. Today we're going to be getting a bunch of our containers ready for planting. We're going to be putting uh, soil into them. I'm making my own soil again, and so we're using... I couldn't find vermiculite, so I'm using perlite. There is a difference between them. Vermiculite is like a bunch of little sponges that hold the water. So when you mix it in, no matter how deep you go down, you're going to end up with little tiny containers of uh, water down there for the roots once you uh, once you get it wet. Perlite, on the other hand, perlite's gonna help prevent the soil from compacting. It's gonna let your water run through it more. So I'd rather put vermiculite in. Can't find it anywhere right now, so we're using perlite. I use a, one bag of perlite with a half a bag of the peat moss you see right there, and then another bag about the same size as the perlite of just some sort of compost then it ends up being a, a real nice mixture that's loose but it's going to be um, it's going to be a, a good mixture for whatever we put in there so here's what I'm doing right now I'm uh, I'm taking my containers and you guys will find this over time as you go to the store and you buy something make sure you're getting it in the dark containers like this they're gonna last a lot longer than the light containers and they're just more flexible they're just not gonna break down on you also, when you go to buy some, try and buy a few and then get one of these containers, put it in the container and take it up and check out with the container. You're going to really appreciate those down the road. So that's what I've got right here. Now, um, a quick way to fill these things, I have one that I haven't filled, is I just put the cups in here, get all my dirt ready. I take a handful of dirt and that's how much goes in one cup. So in just a few minutes or in a few seconds here it probably doesn't even take a minute to do one of these whole cups i just keep throwing that in and before you know it i have now filled and this one's ready to go and that is 10 cups ready then those are going to come back go into the garden here where we've got our, ga our uh, winter garden salad running right here so the wife can come out here and just pick things and make a salad we got all our potatoes growing nicely in bags down underneath them. We got some tomatoes in here. And then we've got our bench over here where we're gonna be putting these things. Now, those things fit perfectly in one of my benches. Now I make my own soil and I put the soil in rows on these little benches so that I can actually take these little benches and just pick this bench up and take this bench wherever I wanna put it. I started putting them in these containers. It seems to hold, uh, it, it holds the roots together better. Um, and I've just gone to this style lately and, and I'm happy with those. But again, you gotta save those cups and you gotta get the transport thing so you can put them in there and then you can just sit them up here and when you get ready to go plant, you'll just have a whole bunch of those that are ready to go. And then you can just uh, get them rolling right from there. So happy planting, now's the time. If you guys uh, need to get them started, then um, bring them in the house, put them in the garage, put them somewhere, get them some light, uh, rotate them out, bring them out here. I have a bench sitting right outside of the greenhouse. So as I bring stuff out, I can sit it here. It'll get harsh, uh, part sun, won't get full sun. And then later you can move them into the garden and uh, they'll be a little hardened off before you take them out there. Hope it helps. Um, have fun.